I'm John Horgan, director of the Center for Science Writings at Stevens, and I'm here today to interview Peter White. I mean, I, I thought I realized how bad it was, but it, it's much worse, according to the description you know, have in your book, the, the pressure to, um, to uh, conform, first of all, and to do work that will be seen favorably by people in positions of power, many of whom are string theorists, and then there's so few positions available anyway. Yeah, they don't have a connection to experiment, and they've got you know, all this conjectural stuff which they hope is true, but the, but the actual structures that they're playing with are still are pretty complicated. They're really kind of, it's kind of a, string theory is a pretty complicated story. Right. And um, so it seemed to me, that they, so, so I, I, I didn't see this as being especially compelling or beautiful. It wasn't simple and beautiful and mathematically compelling enough to, to compel you that it has to be true because of that. And there wasn't any experimental evidence saying that this complicated structure has to be right. So I thought, like, if you have a taut string, it has to, it vibrates with certain characteristic frequencies. Well, that would corresponds to certain energies or masses, and to see those characteristic energies or masses, you would have to go to very, very, you know, to, to, to energies that are far beyond ever, anything you could ever hope to see. As, as people learn more about it, they weren't getting closer and closer to the, to the real world, the physics, but they were learning a lot of very, very interesting mathematics. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of interesting stuff coming out of the, this theoretical work. And, um, and yet, still, you thought that there were, what the, the, the problems with the theory were, were being glossed over too much? Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, I certainly thought the people who were working on this weren't taking the problem seriously enough, but I thought, you know, sooner or later they'll either get tired of this and, do, and get something else, or they'll get somewhere. And a, a lot of the power and influence of string theory really was based upon, you know, the, I mean, the the people who were promoting it and, and, and who had very legitimate um, accomplishments. So people like, you know, if, if Ed Witten goes around and tells you that, you know, this, he thinks this is true, well, you know, uh, there's very, very good reason to believe him. It, 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 it's not just because he's, he's he's a very, very smart guy. And he so it's, it's persuasion, not coer yeah. coercion. So it was, yeah. So so so, so a, a, a lot of kind of why people were uncomfortable criticizing string theory was that they were, for quite legitimate reasons, uncomfortable criticizing, you know, something that's being promoted by very, very smart people. So there's right. kind of another way of saying it is that there's kind of an intellectual intimidation. Yeah. You know, who, who is this guy to be making these criticisms? This is really, if, if anyone is going to be making these criticisms, it should be, you know, the really kind of the leaders of the field, and, you know, this is kind of a problem. Oh, right. It, the, the, there are some some remaining important problems about the standard about the standard model, which um, are really crucial, which, which string theory doesn't really tell you anything about. But if you don't have experiment kind of, that, that can validate this kind of speculation, you, you realize that if something is getting more and more complicated, you're on the wrong track. Right. Yeah, so what, math, what, what, what the greatest mathematicians certainly are looking for is, is not only something that's completely consistent and rigorous well understood, but, but new, new ideas that, that don't just lead into more complexity, but, but, but new ideas that actually kind of give you a new way of thinking about all these structures in, in, in a simpler way. And that's something which really hasn't happened in string theory.